So let's just see how. Just go just above the the cracker, just above the cracker, one centimeter, just above the cracker. You do a little bit on this cracker going just one centimeter above. You cut. Yes, when you do this little opening just above the cracker, you are already uh, ready to go. Okay. Now, normally you have to use a blend and scissors. One scissors where this other extreme here is blunt, and the other one is sharp. No, let's just let's just do it like this. It's a small thing. The main aim is just that you should cut open right up to this opercular muscle up here, so that you can cut open the the fish. Uh, be careful not to cut uh, underneath each tissue cell. I'm just doing it in a hurry so that we can. Fish, the fish does not take time. It's all. When you open like this, if you are provided with more nails, you just nail. Just nail. The, these nails are not really that tall for us to nail <coughs> here and on the other side. It's too small. So, but some people they prefer to do like a C cut, that they prefer to, to do a cut here like this, so as to expose this portion. You see now, yes. but you have to first of all open your fish like that before you can start doing that. If you start doing that earlier, you can cut, you can cut uh, some of these connections to the to the cracker. But meanwhile, some people also prefer that you leave it like that since it's already already beside the cracker opening. You prefer you prefer that you should you should leave it like that and you start displaying the different organs. When you first of all open your fish, the first thing that you should identify is this structure, this swim bladder. A swim bladder. A swim bladder is the one that functions for buoyancy. Not that thing that you go to the that you go to go and swim and you put a small tire on your hand like that. That, that you should not sink now. The same thing for this fish. This fish this fish it uses it uses this air. when it wants to remain on the surface of water, it traps air, it traps oxygen inside. This swim bladder, but once you go inside, deep inside the water, it does what it removes the oxygen so that it can go deep inside. But the swim bladder will not be necessary in your in your dissection. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they could ask you to just open the fish and draw everything in situ. It could be a, a, a chick chicken that they ask you to open and draw everything in situ. In situ means that just the way it is when as just as the organism was alive, that's not in situ. So they ask you to. Uh, dissect the organism and draw the organs and annotate the organs in situ. Mm -hmm. If they actually do like that, you have to also do it. But without that, you have to just remove first of all your 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 swim swim bladder since it might not be necessary. For the past years, it have not been necessary. So we remove the, the swim bladder. It's just very very easy to remove it. You just draw it like this. It comes out. And make sure that I keep everything far from uh, anything that is found on top of this dissecting body that is useful for you. Okay, so these are already our fish, our dissection fish. And we know that for the respiratory system, the respiratory system is composed of what? The respiratory system of this fish. The it's composed simply of the gills, that's all for the gills. And uh, just that we will have talked about gastric exchange in the gills. The gills, the, the, the fish first of all takes gastric exchange. If the fish takes water inside the mouth, from the mouth it passes now through these gills and later on goes out through the to the operculum. As the water enters through the mouth and going out to the operculum, that's how it is getting in contact with these gill filaments, right? Yes, and there is exchange. So the next thing after we are done with the respiratory system, the next system is the digestive system. 
is the digestive system right or is it the circulatory? circulatory. Okay, for the circulatory system, we say that the fish has a single circulatory system, it means that blood passes through the heart just once for a complete circulation. This is the heart of the fish. It is covered by this thin, it's covered by this thin tissue. That's called the the pericardium. This is a, this is a pericardium. This uh, tissue here. If you cut out the tissue, you are going to observe the heart. This is a pericardium. The pericardium contains the pericardial, the pericardial fluid. Here is a fluid. So this is a pericardium. So if